So two things I want to show you over here while we're walking over there. Let's sing our outdoor song. What did you notice outside today? What did you see when you were on your way? Up in the trees and down on the ground. Tell me what did you see? Well, here's what I saw the other day. Remember those pileated woodpecker holes I showed you? Well, there's a tree over here that is just loaded with them. You can see the old holes down here at the bottom, but then check these out. Brand new holes at the top of the tree. You can see all that sap oozing out. And I know there's a pileated woodpecker around here. Here's how big the little chips of wood are that come off the tree. He has a big, powerful beak. Yep. So, up here, remember our larch tree, the one I told you that is one of the very few trees in New Hampshire with needles that drops his needles? Well, guess what? Those needles are growing back. You can see them right here. And they're soft, soft, soft. So they're coming out. It's looking great. A couple things happening down at the pond. Here's one of them. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Actually, he's still there. And there's actually another one right over there. Yep, the water's warming up in my pond. The frogs are becoming more active. There is stuff going on here. I want to show you something else. Right here, right next to this moss, is a carnivorous plant called the pitcher plant. Yep, you heard right, just like the T-Rex. Pull that out. Just like the T-Rex is a carnivore, so is this plant. Inside that pitcher, the rain gathers, and there are little teeny hairs on the sides. Oh my gosh, that frog is croaking. And if an insect falls inside here, he can't get out because of all those little hairs. And the plant slowly digests him. Yep, you heard right. I just want to see which one of these frogs was just croaking. Is that you? Give us another croak, froggy. Those, oh my gosh, I heard another one on the other side. Those big round circles behind his ears, behind his eyes, those are actually his ears. They're flat. They don't look like our ears, but those are the froggy's ears. This turkey visits my yard almost every single day. He's under my bird feeder. Well, he's walking away from it right now. He likes to eat the seed that falls out of my bird feeder. It's a female turkey. I call her Tina. See you later, Tina. She's taking her time. Oh my gosh. She's coming back. <laughs> She's always by herself. I have a feeling she might have a nest nearby. There she goes to her spot under my bird feeder. See what kind of seed fell. She just comes by a couple times a day, pretty much every day. And since I've been home more, I guess I notice her more. 
but yep, there she goes. Enjoying the sun, looking for bugs, looking for seed, walking around my daffodils. Thank you, Tina, for not stomping them. Oops, scratching the ground, seeing if she can find more seed. Picking something from the plants out there. Still walking nicely right around my daffodils. I really appreciate that, Tina. I'll see you later. Hi, friends. Just walking across this field, and I noticed up ahead this cute little porcupine who really does not care that I am here. We'll go a little bit closer. Unless you touch porcupines, they're not really a problem. You get close enough for them to touch you, it's the problem. He's adorable. And he's also a very large porcupine. I'm just going to go a tiny bit. Oh, I don't want to scare him. I love how they waddle. See you later, porcupine. Bye-bye. <laughs>